Nicholas Petit Friere was the most sought after offensive tackle in the country. The Berkeley prep Buccaneer would take his talents eventually to Columbus and wait his turn to take his spot on the Ohio State offensive line. This season, the Tampa native helped anchor an offensive unit that led the Big Ten in rushing, averaging more than 270 yards a game, and helped the Buckeyes secure their spot in Monday's national championship game. This is a wonderful experience, and the fact that he is playing to, for a national championship, it's, it's unbelievable. Loris petit Friere knows how special this season has meant to her son. When the pandemic started, she recalls Nicholas coming home with a lot still unknown about what lied ahead. In March, spring break, Nicholas was home and he had to stay put and then getting back to the facility at Woody and um, not sure if they were going to have a game um, or have, have a season. But the season has also taken its toll on the parents. While Nicholas was enjoying an outstanding season starting for OSU, Loris remembers what games in the shoe were like to watch. It's been interesting, tough. Um, I do miss seeing him after the game. That's one of the great highlights is that you get a chance to, you know, hug him and tell him how, you know, great he did and that kind of stuff. Just give him some accolades and some encouragement. When the Buckeye season did finally begin, July would be the last time Loris would see her only child as Ohio State began their run. Still, they would find time to connect throughout the season. Um, conversation has been FaceTime, and thank God for our iPhone that you can have FaceTime, but it has been uh, wonderful um, for the fact that even for Thanksgiving, FaceTime, Christmas. Monday's national championship game is a culmination of a season that almost wasn't. Nicholas and Ohio State are one of only two teams left standing, and when the game finally does kick off, it will act as a symbol of resiliency for not only the players, but for their families as well. I'm excited. This is a, a great moment. I mean, uh, you got to cherish this, this opportunity. So I'm, I'm excited that it's in Florida, <laughs> um, which is nice. Weather is pretty good, nice and breezy. Um, but I'm excited, very grateful and thankful that you know, God has given him the opportunity to play on a big stage like this. In Miami Gardens, Mike Aarons, Spectrum Sports 360.